Is this Nathan J. Biggs? That's right. Hey, this you doing, Hey, Ragney. This is me. Look at that. You even got it right, too. What's the How you usual doing? interpretation? Pretty good, yeah. Really good. Good. Cool. So, um, so you got a lot of things going on, man. Uh, you guys, uh, you actually you signed with a new label, which happens, happens to be one of my favorite labels, because they have an incredible roster of talent, uh, D Spot Records. That's right. Yeah, they've they've had some good acts. Um, yeah, it feels really good to be with them. They're super supportive of everything we want to do. And That's uh, cool. they, yeah, they've That's just cool. given us all the tools to do everything we need to with this album and. Even just little things like this, you know, they've got a great team together helping us set up uh, PR and radio and things while I'm here in uh, in L.A. this week and just talking to some U.S. interviews. It's just been really smooth sailing ever since we started. That's awesome. Now, is it a, a big difference uh, compared to your former label? Um, I guess. I mean, uh, we're all... What's really cool about it is in is that we're all based in Stockholm. Like the band, we all live in the center of Stockholm. Uh, the studio where we recorded the album, that was right in the center too. Um, and the label, they're just around the corner from there. So it feels a lot more intimate, I can say that much. Right. That's cool. Now, I, I saw too, you guys are doing... Um got the, the YouTube channel going, and you're doing uh, these confession videos, which are pretty cool, because it's given the fans, like, an inside look to the band. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's kind of something we've been kind of thinking about for a while. I mean, when we went to the studio, we were just like, shall we do a, a making of, you know, like a documentary kind of thing? And... Right. A, we're we're just like, how many of those have you seen? You know, and how boring are they? Like the drummer setting up the drum kit for half an hour and then they speed it up and <laughs> whatever and just <laughs> takes and tuning instruments and just yeah, it's fun to see like you know your whatever your favorite band's kind of joking around in the studio. But um, kind of just with how we were feeling with this, the whole theme of this Confessions album, we just thought uh, let's just open up and uh, give something back to the people that are interested in the band so they can see see another side to us, which is what this album's all about. So, um, so you, I mean, you guys went really in-depth and opened up really about being dropped by your old label. Um, and you can yeah. see the, the uh, you know, the blow it took on the band. I mean, and you even talked about even possibly breaking up and not knowing what to do. Um, now, how is the band doing? Do you think going through all that made you guys like a stronger unit? Yeah, definitely. I mean, why a lot of bands will try to kind of sugarcoat everything and, uh, you know, oh, we're, you know, we're unstoppable and, you know, nothing's ever phased us kind of thing. And, you know, oh, it didn't matter that, you know, a member left or that, you know, you got dropped by your label kind of thing. And they just kind of shrug everything off just to try to appear larger than life in the public eye. But I kind of, I just think, I just think it's, I don't know, it's kind of cooler just to admit, kind of, you know, you are, you know, you're human and, you know, we all deal with stuff and we all take, you know, we all feel the blows kind of thing. We're all, it, you know, it hit us pretty, it hit us pretty hard. But I think if you can kind of show your fans that you can get up and dust yourself off in spite of, you know, the, the, the hits that you take, then I think, you know, the band kind of just, they bond with you much more and, you know. When you guys went through all that, did you ever consider um, going independent and just doing everything yourself? Yeah, yeah, we, we we talked about that. We talked about you know making our own label and trying trying it that way. Um, we we came pretty close to it, and you know we had a few offers from a few other different labels, and that seemed definitely like you know a, a possibility. We've never done it before, so we didn't know how hard the fight was going to be, but we were. We got to the stage where we were prepared to do it, but then uh, Despos Records got in touch with us, and it, it was just amazing what, uh, how they kind of understood what we wanted to do. So it was, it, it wasn't a, an option after that. We were very happy with what they offered us for a new deal. That's awesome. Now you guys went in a in a major different musical direction. Um, do you think that also too is part of? Um, 
maybe, maybe not being dropped, but um, being able to sign to this new label and really have – it sounds like you guys can do more of what you wanted to do. The, uh, us uh, parting ways with Nuclear Blast has nothing to do with the uh, kind of the change in musical style. We actually – it was – it was thanks to that in a way that, because uh, that we changed labels that we were that we rewrote an album um when before when we when we were looking like we were going to do the next album with nuclear blast we'd already wrote a, a whole album of songs we had like 10 to 12 like finished songs that we'd uh completely like demoed in our own studio like done all the pre-recordings um and we were two weeks away from heading into the studio to record with this Swedish metal producer that's really well known. And we kind of just stopped in our tracks after the news from, you know, that we weren't going to be doing it with Nuclear Blast. And we were just like, this is our chance to kind of really reevaluate what we want to do. And kind of, right. We've, we've always enjoyed like this Swedish melodic death metal kind of that we've been associated with. But ever since uh, 2009, we've always kind of felt that we've got a lot more to bring to the table in kind of terms of just songwriting and different styles and different genres and, you know, just generally different feels to the songs than this, uh, this kind of preconception of the band that we had to stay in this genre. And we, we did feel kind of pressure to kind of please this demographic of fans a little bit. And this time we were just like, let's just write from the heart and, you know, see what comes out and, it was definitely completely different than anything we have ever written before. Yeah, I mean, totally. I was, I was going. I actually was listening to the album today, and I was like, "It's totally different. It's, it's that's the, you know, it's more commercial and everything, uh, more mainstream." And I was wondering that had to be kind of scary for you guys as well, like for your longtime fans, wondering what they're going to think and say about it. Hmm. Um. Well, like I said, we did this album in. Oh nine, uh, sorry, um, 2011, We Rule the Night, that was, it had a lot more kind of poppy and rock and roll kind of elements as opposed to metal, and just getting in touch with the kind of that fan, fan base that we had from there, and music fans in general, I think we've kind of found out that we've got this group of fans that are just into kind of more diverse music. This, sure. this day and age is like the digital era and stuff, I've, I've always said that there's no more like uh, guilty pleasures, as it were. You know, it used to be that you used to save up all your money and then you used to go to the record store to buy your, you know, your Slipknot album or your Slayer album, whatever, and you used to, you know, listen to it with all your friends and it was just the way you used to consume music. Now, right. you know, you can, you know, whatever you're a rocker, you can't walk into the store and pick up, you know, the new Katy Perry album or you get beaten to death on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but these days you know people are just listening to everything it's just a click away whatever they're in the mood for whatever style and it's just broadening people's musical horizons like so so much and uh this album has definitely got a lot of that kind of in it yeah you, you know you totally brought me back in time to being a teenager and um <laughs> that's exactly what we used to do though is, is uh, you know, when when the new albums would come out, we would go and we would go to a, a friend's house near the the local record store, and we'd be listening to that new exactly. album. And you'd all sit around and today. you'd all listen to it, and yeah. Wow, yeah, <laughs> the good old days. <laughs> now, did I? But I mean, that, that's. No, oh, go ahead. I mean, it, that, yeah, the good old days, but we are we're consuming music in a in a totally different way, and there's kind of I don't know if people are listening to albums in the same way as in when you've spent all your money kind of on a CD, uh, you would you know listen to it from front to back every single day until you knew all the words. Whereas you know these days, kids are kind of music becomes a bit more fast food for them. But uh, right. I think I think it's kind of coming back with the you know with bands that are able to kind of really diversify themselves on an album and you get lots of different songs on an album whereas you Absolutely. know just people just writing trying to write a whole album full of hits you know then it is fast food people just listen to it once and it's in their playlist and then the next band's in their playlist but i, I think right. i think we've wrote a really diverse album here now when you guys uh 
start touring and everything, are you guys going to be playing um, or really trying to focus more on the new music compared to the old music? Or Yes, yeah. I mean, this it, there's, there's no doubt about it. This is kind of a, a big kind of rejuvenation, reinvention of the band, and we're all about this new album. We you know we've got some other songs from the, the previous records that will complement the live set really well, but uh, we're all about moving forward here. Did you think at any time, like after being dropped from uh, from Nuclear Blast, like uh, you know, with this whole new musical change and the diversity and all, did you think maybe let's just change the band name and start completely fresh? We thought about it, but you know, we've just put so much blood, sweat, and tears into Sonic Syndicate, and we've been evolving through the years anyway. You know, to our to our real fans and our true fans, this this isn't going to be. Uh, the biggest shock in the world to them. It's just going to be something fresh. We know we've got a really diverse fan base. Cool. Very cool. Of course, there's going to be um, like the the, met, the metal haters and stuff who, you know, sure. if you do anything that isn't, you know, sounds like old in flames, then they're going to get pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> now, did I see uh, you had Ryan Roxy in the studio with you too, uh, playing some guitar? We, we did. Ryan's a awesome guy he's a really good friend of mine i've known him a few years now and we have a great time every time we hang out um nice. it was it was just perfect because robin our guitar player he is the biggest alice cooper fan ever since he was little he's just been obsessed with alice cooper and ryan roxy's actually his favorite alice cooper guitar player so it was oh no kevin's like a, a definite dream for him he was super stoked about that Normally, Robin's got a bit of a mouth on him, like he'll just fucking talk all day. <laughs> and Ryan came in the studio, he just shut up. <laughs> he was like a little kid, all kind of starstruck and stuff. It was, it was very cute. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So the uh, the new single, actually, the the first single, it came out, did it come out like just the other day? I think it was. Start of War, two, two days ago, yeah. Cool, yeah, and the, the, you have a lyric video out for that. I saw that. Mhm. And the album, when does that come out officially now? The album's coming out October 14th. Cool. Now, are you guys going to be uh coming over to the states at all, do you think? Or Yeah, we we were talking before, you know, how we've got great support from our from our label this time around and a big part of that is that they are really helping us get over here to the US. Um, we've got distribution through Sony Red this time, so our album should be available in all like good CD stores or good music stores, and they're helping us out with the U.S. distribution a lot more online. So like iMusic, uh, iTunes, Apple Music, and Deezer and Spotify. So it's going to be really available to the U.S. this time. And all of that means that they really want us to come out and support it with a live tour over here. So we're definitely expecting that in the early half of next year. Awesome. Very cool. Cool. So, all right. So when the album does come out um, and you guys hit the road, hopefully you'll make it over to the Philadelphia area. Hell yeah. I really, really, <laughs> hope so. I really want to come to Philly. Got to get one of those That'd cheese awesome. stick things. Uh, you know what? Not a problem. You guys come cheese sticks on me. Yeah, throw a couple Absolutely. of beers in, you got a deal. <laughs> uh, not a problem, not a problem. Cool, all right, <laughs> and uh, where can everybody find Sonic Syndicate online? It's where they can follow you, like you, love you, and everything else. We'd love all that. Um, we're Just go to our website, sonicsyndicate.net, and it's going to have links to all of our uh, Sonic Syndicate official Facebook and everything there. We're everywhere, and we make sure we reply to all the messages that we get in our inbox ourselves. We're really hands-on. So, yeah, go to sonicsyndicate.net or Sonic Syndicate Official on Facebook. Cool. Very cool. Nathan, thanks for uh, for taking time out, and I'm glad we got this situated. I was getting scared with the sound. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> no, it's been very cool. Nice talking to you. You too, man. Take care. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.